It's time to play this old song for the final time, folks. It's, Hopefully. It's one more reading, one more court well, hearing. It's been, well, there's, it's been three years since this thing came out. At this point, uh, I'm guessing it's dead. Oh boy, folks, we've had quite the long run of a series that started off as a passion project by indie filmmakers which, with, with quite the amount of talent. Which and that's been... sad, because the half, the first half and Omega movie is the best Richard Rich movie, and that's... Actually, and was the... Richard Rich even involved in the first one? Yeah, he was a producer. Joe, oh, Joe, he, he was just Joe, a producer, he... okay. Joe, he... wasn't he also the director? Let me no. Check. No, no, he, he didn't direct the first one, he did like two through five, I think. Yeah, again, okay. let's remember, Pedro, the first one was mainly done by indie filmmakers. Again. Oh, okay, so, so never mind, he's just shit then. So, how do you like it when the professional comes on board with the sequels is when it gets oh so better and better and not, better. Not just, you'd think after, you'd think with the fifth one, uh, with, uh, without, uh, you know, uh, Richard Rich, they'd be able to get better, but no, they only got worse. The weird so thing anyway, is... this is, anyway, this is Alpha and Omega. What's the subtitle? Al this is Alpha Journey. and Omega 8, The Journey to Bear Kingdom, and oh boy, folks! This is objectively the worst Alpha and Omega movie. Let me put this into perspective. Even the deepest fans of Alpha and Omega hate this movie to kingdom come. You could for not... One ver for one very simple reason. This is not an Alpha and Omega movie. The main, the characters of this franchise are basically guest stars, and the main stars are these bears that come out of nowhere and have nothing to do with anything. Oh my god, it's, it's the ending of Star Trek Enterprise all over. Again. Oh, by the way, and by main characters, we mean, of course, the wolf pups. In fact, as far as I recall, Kate and Humphrey don't even appear in this movie. Well, let's uh, get this started before the Lionsgate won't go. All right, then. Go ahead, Three, children. two, one, click. Uh, you know, part of me is gonna miss commentating on this movie series until we I'm inevitably not. bring back Shiroi for the redos. Well, you could do those without me. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> <sighs> how did we get here? Like, seriously, how did we get from a decently because... made indie film project to this trash? Because Richard Rich went, went, went insane. Oh, yeah, and well, now he's apparently helping well, out with the Swan Princess movies, which are still going. Well, well remember, Joe, but he did create that franchise as well, so... And yet, and now he's torn it asunder... Okay. I, well, not that not that the franchise was any good to begin with, mind you, but whatever. At least when it was 2D animated, it wasn't nearly as obnoxious as the Sony era. Oh, goody. So, 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 yes, folks, of course we have the makers of Norm of the North 1 and 2 included in on this. All right, so, so welcome back to Unfinished GameCube Project. <laughs> Alpha and Omega, Journey to Bear Kingdom. The heck was up with that font? Uh, also, that is still painting. Like, and that's another still pa is, is, is still painting. Um... Okay, is the movie actually going to start? Is, okay, this, an art gal is this an art gallery? <laughs> Let me guess, log. Log scene. Can't have an Alpha and Omega movie without a log scene. Oh god, no, not the pups, god damn it. Who look even more similar to each other than ever. Oh, Debbie Derry Barry, I hope they paid you well. Well, but this point she was voicing Coco again, so. <sighs> it's still. I. those bills she had to pay. <laughs> It's a funny thought, Jova. All you have to do is remake Crash Bash, and then bam, she's retroactively been the voice of Coco in every Crash game. Huh, yeah. Oh god, the animation. Yeah. Wow. It's like it's they purposely to try and make them no, I, noticed, I noticed the movement of her paw. Her paw's movement was literally reversed. It was literally just reversed <laughs> in the first movement. How lazy can you be? Uh, Apparently very lazy. Oh yeah, here's Claudette's uh, love interest fleet. Oh god, um, you may have noticed something's a bit off about the animal furs here. The lighting has made it so that their fur coats are either darker oh or lighter god, than what before. the fuck was is that? Shut up! Um... 
Can someone please shut that thing up? Thank you. Obvious Lion that, King shot. That was getting into it. Oh, that was the movie's idea of a joke. Was it Whoa. funny? Uh, well, since since I just got back from watching an unfunny movie at the cinema, uh, I'm kind of used to unfunny comedy today. As for me, I'm, I I'm, mean... I'm, I'm just kind of... I'm just kinda oh, no, not this points. bear. Oh, Brent, your fur, it's looking way darker than it used to. Let me it guess, like you a, have... It looks like me, an evil bear. Let me guess, you have to pee? No, oh, no he just says to sleep. Oh, right, yeah, Brent, his fear of bears, I can't, his, I mean, his fear of birds, I forget if that's back on, or if it's back off again. Well, to be fair, so do the riots. Oh, and by the way, the lip syncing in this movie is awful, terrible. I dare even ask, did they even try? You know it's sad, you know Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds in the uh, 60s? Yes. They actually had special technology built into the puppet heads, so they so that lip syncing wouldn't be much of a problem. Mm-hmm. But yet we're in this was in the year two thousand and seventeen, and we're still having this problem. And yeah, I know animation compared to puppets, but still. Uh, I guess this is supposed to be whimsy, but it's not. Um. Where did the pups go? Remember, Dwebs, that's the primary issue right from the beginning. This is not an Alpha and Omega movie. The pups and and Kate and the um, guy, what's his name? What's uh, Kate's? The other, the other guy. I forgot uh, his name. Well, but it's not important. It's the other guy. <laughs> Scottish squirrels. What's the name of the Omega of this franchise, Joe? I forgot Humphrey. his name. That's it, Humphrey. Um. Uh, yeah. R remember this. This is our. This is our main characters, the bears. The pups and Kate and Humphrey are not important to this. Story. Well, is this like is this like secretly a backdoor pilot for a spin-off film series? You have to wonder. And oh god, that animation. <laughs> Look at that. Her fur doesn't even obey the laws of gravity. So supposedly the queen of the bears, along with her daughter, are coming through. What the hell does this have to do with Alpha and Omega? Dwibs, you want to uh, take a KX on that? Um, well, we're in the forest. The other films were set in the forest too. Except um, for Alpha and Omega 6, which took so place on a golf so course. So is Bambi an Alpha and Omega movie as well? I guess Snow uh, White's an Alpha and Omega well, movie too. A, well, we can thank how lucky stars Disney ever tried to buy Lionsgate. <laughs> Yet. I mean, actually, I wonder, do, did, did, did Fox ever have any uh, directed DVD animated films of their own? Uh, yes. Let me check. Bolter doesn't really count, that's not really a series. Okay, so... Oh, that... oh no, 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 not, not Bolter. I mean, that, that one that was a spin-off of Anastasia. Uh, sure, Bartok? Sure, sure, sure. That yeah. reminds me, Anastasia is now a Disney movie. <laughs> and so is Bartok the Magnificent. And Titan AE. You know, kind of a bit of a small audience for what's supposedly the big queen. Uh, 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 Jova, Jova, we yeah. couldn't animate anymore. What bear kingdom? 
Is this first queen part? Bear! There you go! That's the name of our queen, guys. Queen Bear. Uh, uh, yay! Let me see... No, apparently there's... Uh, the only animation that I can I can find from them is uh, the stuff from Fox Animation Studios back in the 90s and the Blue Sky stuff. Yeah, so uh, I can't wait for Ice Age 7 at some point from Disney. Ho hopefully Disney will just kill that franchise, because that franchise sh should have died a long time ago. You're expecting Disney to kill whatever could potentially make money, Pedro. Do those movies even make money anymore? When uh, Disney's... The, last, the last one, the last one didn't really make as much. When, Dis when Disney's done with them, oh boy. I'm at your curious. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can tell how interested I am. In oh, this there you go, there you go, you. guys. They're from the Eastern Force, and that's how relation they have. Are they trying to be like Avatar now, where they have a northern and eastern equivalent of stuff? Hey, guys, 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 we mentioned Caden Humphrey. This Queen Bear apparently met them once, and I guess consider some friends. What is... happened to them? Did they die off screen or something? I sure, guess that's not? the reason that the bears aren't tearing them limb from limb since last we learned, bears and wolves don't get along. Alright, so let's check the first one. Ice Age. Okay, Ice Age. Oh, okay. okay. I get, I get, okay, I guess, the, I get, I'm guessing that them be... That oh that my god, being shut just... up! What the fuck? Okay, um... I'm guessing that the, the the character being annoying is the whole point. Job, as I said please. before, just because like, just because it's the point of a character to be annoying doesn't make it not annoying. Job, Job. please tell me that. Job, please tell me that's not a running gag. Would you put that above this movie, Pedro? Would you honestly no. put that above this movie? Just answer the question. Well, what do you think, huh? Uh. uh, uh... Ladies and gentlemen. What? Oh, this... oh, look, oh, oh shit, there's clones. You I mean, you could even make him a different color. It okay, and, 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 the, and uh... Whoa, look going? at how much that bear can strap wow, her stuff. Wow, wow, we're only ten minutes in and then we already completely lost his mind. Uh, okay. what? Um, what? Are we on a talk show now? What? Is I this a runway are model? Are they meant? To, are they meant to be comment? Is this meant to be comment? It's like, it's like when commentators do a thingy on like the, the Queen's procession or the or the changing of the guard or the trooping of the color. Again, guys, I can't believe I'm saying this. The Bear Princess is literally strutting her stuff before us. <sighs> well, oh this is, this is, in terms of brand, or do you have a random dancing? This isn't the same studio that made Norm of the North. I wasn't aware that uh, Ice Age 1 was that cheap to make. Huh. Well, it came out in 2002. I'm 59 million. Yeah, I know, but 59 million? Gee, that's pretty cheap. Uh, let me see. What was the second one? Ice Age The Meltdown, maybe? I don't, I don't remember what was the first one. Kanu? What, whatever. Oh what my mean? god! Wait, King? You're back? No. <laughs> the villain from Alpha and Omega 2 and Alpha and Omega 7. So, I guess we have a recurring villain now. And oh god, that running animation! <laughs> that running animation! It's not like we're caribou and you know we're supposed to run away from them since they're our natural predators. Oh my god, flying squirrels, just like in Swan Princess 5. Oh um, boy. Um, jo remind jo me, Pedro, were the squirrels in Swan Princess also Scottish? No. Uh, Jova, where the hell are Kate, Humphrey, and the pups? Um, well, the pups are hell, here. Hell, 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 where the hell are Kid and Umfrey, the supposed protagonists of this franchise? The pups are here, God help us, but Kid and Humphrey are nowhere to be found. Maybe they just died. Yeah, I, I said that earlier. <laughs> <coughs> what exactly is the plot of this movie supposed to be? The Queen's there, and there's a war? <laughs> There's bears and they're angry at each other. That's the plot. Oh Enjoy. my god, the, that, that, the way those acorns moved in the air. I mean, they even moved that, you know, just like jumbled up in the air. 
Like wow, there was a... Like with the Force or something. I was not aware that there was a four-year break between each Ice Age movie. We Interesting. Hmm. Let me see. So, the next one is Meltdown. Alright, so Ice Age Meltdown. Let's see. Yeah, Meltdown was also a huge success, yes. Okay, I guess that's the plot. Get the princess. Okay. Wow, what does she do? Uh, take a poop in your village? Oh, <sighs> look, it's those walls. It's those. Uh, hold on. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, I, uh... I guess we're done. <laughs> Princess Kanyu. <laughs> yes, that's her name. Oh, and I guess she immediately believes them. Okay. Yeah, I can. That, not, yeah, now I can actually see why this franchise has been making <coughs> money. I mean, these movies are so cheaply produced. Let me see. <coughs> yeah, Content. this movie that we're watching so far is so boring. I'm getting ill. Continental <coughs> drift. Oh. Continental Drift also made a lot of money. How the hell did these movies kept making so much money? Because they do. Well, except the last one. Oh! Collision Course. Let's see. Okay, so the plot is that the rogue wolves want to capture both the queen and the princess to lure the king out there so that they can get control over the forest. Silly me, oh, I just thought that control of the forest was kind of a moot point since they were rogues, but apparently the bears are the ones who call the shots all of a sudden. What a recon. Yeah, uh, the most recent one, Ice Age Collision Course... Uh, grossed $408 million on a $105 million budget. So it was a moderate success, but not much. Yeah, I'm guessing Disney are probably going to see the diminishing returns and either scrap it or just turn it into a Disney Plus show. Well, everybody agrees that Collision Course was crap, so I guess it's probably for the better. Again, okay, knowing Disney, they'll probably have their hand at trying to make it into a budding franchise, and yeah. Otherwise, though, I expect them to try and make money off of it before they can it. I would well, hope that, uh... the disguise to go. I would, I would hope that they would do the same thing they did to Circle 7 back in 2006. Uh, bring in all of the animators, uh, all, all of the employees from Blue Sky to work, and distribute them over Pixar and Disney. Oh good, she's Apparently doing her Spin the... Dash move again. Well, that's the plan, apparently. They're going to make Blue Sky their third big animation studio behind uh, Pixar and by themselves. Oh, uh, okay, then. Sure, I guess. Why not? Hopefully, um, they'll get some better people running that studio. Anyway. Oh my god, can we actually get somewhere? We've been running for the past six minutes. How long has this movie been going on? 16 minutes. Okay, so we're further can, the way. I, can, I, I can't even tell how far the, into the distant distance they are because all the fucking four trees look the fucking same. What? No, no. Physics don't work like that. Well, Since uh, when the... are they Sonic the Hedgehog? Fuck you. Honestly, Joe, but the, the voice Debbie Berry gives that one there, she sounds like a her voice, her Coco voice from, like, the Radical games. Oh, look at that! Uh, Kate's mother, but still no sign of Kate herself. No! Oh no, uh, 
And there you go. That's our plot. Uh, uh, uh shiver me timbers. <laughs> what am I supposed to say at this point? We're eight, we're eight movies in, and the best one so far has been one where Dennis Rod, Dennis Hopper was a villain. And uh, oh my the... shit, eighteen minutes! Oh my god, there they are. They actually live. Are you like the only wolves in your pack that can help? Wait, I just don't even. Your kids so, are terrible. So, in a series named after them, the titular Alpha and Omega only appear like eighteen minutes into this. If I remember correctly, by this movie. If I remember correctly, by this point, Joe, I Aiden Panettiere had stopped voicing Kate, right? Oh, Pedro, yeah, Pedro, 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 was... Pedro. She stopped after like the first movie. Remember, okay, there w was Al was Allison Stoner the one that replaced her? No, no, usually, no, 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 no. He's usually the one that replaces Aiden Panettiere in her roles. I think it's, I think it's Kate Higgins. Yep, Kate Higgins has been voicing oh. Kate ever oh, since the oh. second movie. Okay, I get the casting guy that you made there, um, Lionsgate. <laughs> but it still annoys. I still, but it still annoys me that you're wasting a great voice actress in this. Get it? Cause she also voiced Tails. Oh my God! They're finally grounding them. You're still grounded. No. Then he gets the not Oh, wait. Oh, oh God. I guess we don't find out then. Not these assholes. Yes. These birds make me pine for the ones from tag team racing. Oh, heck yeah. I like chicken stew. Either the tag team racing cells or their cells from uh, Nitro Fueled. I wonder if they'll actually show up in the game or if they're just going to announce the season passes. Ah! Okay! No! No! Uh... no. Can we please not do this? Too bad, we're doing it. Buckingham. I guess it's we're booking. It's pronounced Buckingham. If you're if you if you're trying to go for a British accent, pronounce it like that. We don't, it's book. We don't call it. We don't call Birmingham. Birmingham. Yeah, that, 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 that that's that's how I would do it. Like seriously. Yeah, this this Brit is not amused. <laughs> Hell, you! Oh my God, I just realized something. What? When even Ferry Fencer F uh, actually bothers to get a British actor, oh, whereas this one, this thing doesn't. They didn't Final Fantasy twelve get Brits in? Oh no, no! Most mo most actors in most actors in twelve are Brits. Yeah, Grr. They were trying to go for the Yule. Yule five so but yeah let's think about this for a moment the, the compile hard bothered to get well idea factory international idea factory bothered to get a british actor for reference ref but this Lionsgate didn't or at the very least a very convincing sounding american one like christopher miller last level five but yeah so it turns out that there were traitors within the Bear Kingdom who were working with the Rogue Wolves. And they turned on her. Is this is the plot of Lion King 2? No, Dubs. The plot of Lion King 2 was basically Romeo and Juliet with lions. In the same way that the first movie was Hamlet with lions. I mean, I mean, my, per my feelings on Lion King 2 aside... Um, this, this thing this just, it could be freaky Hamlet. <laughs> oh goddy, the squirrels.
I can't even tell what's happening. The blur's way too fast. It's like, it's like it's. it's I guess. Fast. And people complain about the motion blur and reignited trilogy. I guess the. I guess I can at the very least say that the music is not terrible. I well, mean, the, 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 the music has always just been kind of generic. The I can tell that the composer is trying to make this look exciting, but it it doesn't work. When the soundtrack is the best thing in your movie that's trying the hardest, well, that's unless you're doing like a music video, that's not something you want to rely on. Just saying. Oh my god, that animation was just. Well, it depends. Well, Joe, yeah, music video stuff, uh, as well as stuff like 2001 A Space Odyssey, obviously, the music is one of the key important elements. In well, sound like in general. Well, it depends. Well, I'm, well, obviously, sound is always important, but I'm not saying, uh, but there are movies where it's more important than usual. Well, like, about uh, 2000, I was about 2001. Well, yeah, but uh, the Fantasia is, Ooh, of course, the whole cut. The whole concept of Fantasia is, what if you could watch music? So... Yeah, I mean, with, with 2001, I can at least admire its craft, if not... Well, whereas here, I mean, uh, even by direct-to-DVD standards, the craft ain't exactly, uh... No. Uh... No, 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 no. There are, there are plenty of, uh hand-drawn Disney direct-to-video sequels that actually look gorgeous. So... It's just it's just the ones that look bad are the ones that tend to stick out the most, unfortunately. Hell, even Mulan 2. Mulan 2 is garbage, and I hate it, but uh, the animation looks really nice for direct-to-video standards. It also, it also helps yes, that... Yes, that, that was she... easy. It also helps that cheap 2D animation always looks better than cheap 3D animation because the thing about 3D animation is that in order to make 3D animation look good, you need a, a sizable budget. Uh, whereas with 2D animation, uh, you, you, there are ways you can get around uh, a, a lower budget. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just as long as I mean, just as long as it doesn't look as long as like you can crayon inside the lines. Well, guys, I have some terrible news. The movie's already halfway over. Oh no! Uh -huh. How will... uh, that, that's that's bad news. How will I... Oh god, that water! Jesus Christ! Mm. You know, okay, I, I don't think this looks as bad as. I'm not saying this looks like food fight bad or anything, but th this 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 particular series has had better animation, even than the couple of the earlier directed DVD ones. This is where they stopped caring, basically. I guess they knew at this point that this was going to be the last one. So they just threw up their arms and gave up. But bear in mind, this particular studio only did like two or three of these films. Three. Yeah, Flash three Entertainment. The, the, fir the first five were done by... Well, the f well, yeah, the first five actually, yeah. The first five were done by Crest Animation, which is um, a Richard Rich's animation studio. And the last three were done by Splash Entertainment. Everyone? Yes, Everyone! Yes. That's not a good idea! Why the hell are we focusing on these characters that have nothing to do with anything? Because the bear kingdom is of course the most important element. If you're gonna make if you're gonna make a yet another unnecessary and often omega sequel, at the very least bother to actually make it an actual often omega movie. So, you call them out for being traitors only after the king and his army have all left. Classic. Uh, no. Oh, wait, never mind. The king's still there. So, why did he wait until the army had left? So. Well, that was useless. Oh, God, that. What the <sighs> fuck was that shot? I guess the king is dead. Long live the king. No, live the king. Yeah, I can't wait to watch Lion King. I'd rather watch Black Panther. I like that movie better. I like both Lion King and Black Panther. So yeah. I mean, I like I like both too. Well, dodgy effects of Black Panther aside. 
Or even better, Glibs, oh, uh, watch... Uh, what the watch... fudge was up with the shadow on that queen? It wasn't even attached to her properly! What even what? better... What even better is watch Kenneth Branagh's uh, Hamlet movie. Eh. Isn't that that one that goes like five hours? Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, but uh, in uh, at the very least, you get to see Shakespeare's original vision completely uncut. I think you're not a fan of that one, Jova. Oh no, 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 I like it. It's just long. It's one of those. It's it's for one of those cases where you're, uh, you 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 feel like watching something different than usual and you and you have a lot of like an entire afternoon to kill basically so from going for an authentic theater experience uh -huh. just pause the movie at some point i swear it feels like they had the movie, well, the movie Dere... does have on, on, for that purpose Go i was gonna talk about something in this movie it sounds like they had every dairy berry say princess Kanye, and then they just have it on loop every time they have run say i that. know right could they did they only have her for like five minutes before she had to do her cocoa lines? How much you want to bet they're probably saving on the costs? Hey Kate, are you actually going to do something? No? Okay. I love how the one part we're about to have an action scene with all the wolves gets called off so easily. <laughs> Holy shit, Kate is actually acting like the author that she's supposed to be? About time. How do you know the reference of the Trojans? You don't know what that is. No, there are five. There's five animators. Can't you count to five? No, I'm seriously. He literally just said, hey, you four. But there's five of them. <laughs> <laughs> how late, how not giving a shit can you be? Well, I think we've reached it, Xena. I did. Can't you count to five? Didn't you go to elementary school? Like. I'm Scottish. So it I'm, seems. Uh, uh, well, I've been watching a series where there's a elf, and um, well, she's definitely a lot more entertaining than this is. <laughs> Aren't elves usually you know, Irish, though? Uh, well, they're Scottish in the uh, the Dragon Prince because uh, Aaron, Aaron, and Justin apparently got. Irish and Scottish confused, but whatever. M maybe he won't. Maybe he didn't want to be obvious. I guess. Yeah, well, well done, I guess. Four! They said it again! Four! Yeah, oh my god! <laughs> Can't you... <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five! Wow, now they're blatantly ripping off bits of Lion King, but with Scoggly having Zazu sing songs for him. Did the animators actually read the script when they started animating? <laughs> How the hell do you how the hell do you confuse the word four with the word five? It says four F O U R, not F I V E. This isn't this isn't rocket science animators. Maybe that's why maybe that's why they stopped numbering the, the movies. They lost count. <laughs> oh my god! Have them play something more cheerful. Is there an original bone in your body? I mean, that'd be like if you went to a kid's birthday party and the most cheerful song you could come up with. Oh, great! Was, Dancing was, bear number was, was that was that song from Donnie Darko? Oh, I'm almost surprised they didn't have him in a whole skirt, considering how much they're ripping off Lion King. You can't watch Pass Through instead.
Isn't that corrupt, Thwips? Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, that's a good point, Thwips. Oh, God. Never, ever animate him shaking his hips at me like that again, you animated hex. That's a good point, Thwips. If it can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth. Let's have this movie explode. Uh... Oh, or is it going to be like the ending of Fateful Findings, where the movie just, where the movie's like, uh, oh god, this guy's just talking about us, let's kill ourselves live on it on on screen. You know, am I beginning to realize that a lot of this movie's plot is just characters walking places? I know, right? I resigned today as president of the bank. <laughs> oh my god! Now they're ripping off that bit from Lion King with them literally climbing. Wait, why do they climb up the cliff? Why don't they just go back around? Because. There. Rapping. Taking well, the... not so taking, much taking, rapping, more you're like taking just... cues from the second animated yes, Titanic movie. Yes, taking cues from the the wonderful gents at Italy who gave us the brilliant Titanic animated films. With the rapping dog. Not only that, but um, King, how do you not recognize Humphrey, who's foiled your plans at least two times? <sighs> when even uh, when even your characters are are questioning the idiocy of your of your movie, there's a problem. Again, how does King not recognize Humphrey? What? What the hell are you talking about? Somehow rapping about them will pit them against each other. How does that even work? <laughs> Oh wait! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You're in the. I'm in the. Ah, God! This is some of the worst rapping I've ever seen, and that's saying something. It's it's worse than the Titanic movies. At least those actually, you know, rapped properly. That's not rapping. Uh, we lost them. That's right, they're turned against each other because of a rap number. Well, if a rap number that crap, I turn against them too. Great. So what was the point of turning them against each other if you were going to attack them anyway? Stop. Questioning our vision, Jova. Implying we have much of one. Yeah, no. The way they're running down that straight down kind of ignores the textures in the land there. Oh god, that water. What is that, goo? I don't even know. We had we had to replace the water because um, it was polluted. <laughs> well, I'm almost how long is there left? Okay, seven and a half minutes. Oh and goody! Two, poop. Probably two of those minutes are going to be credits. There you go, guys. On-screen bird poop used to attack our enemies. Great. Just in case we thought there was any dignity left in this movie. Inevitable defeat. Some final fight this... Oh. Yes, I've seen Lion King. You're doing it horribly. You know, the fights between the rock and soccer robots are better than this. <laughs>
Holy shit. What? I think I may have found... Hold on. And... That wasn't falling, that was like... That was like... Peak, if it's, it no, was that wasn't... Up, uh, oh, that's all gravity. That wasn't falling, that was uh, flying with style. Wait. No, movie, don't try and put in a moral. Don't, please. And wait, no, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. They built a jail? The sure, heck? Why sure, why the fuck not? Couldn't they just My... dig? Could, I got those holes. Could they just, they could just easily go right through them. Apparently they're trapped there forever, thus ending the series once and for all. So they're just going to leave them there to rot? Yep. Us. And they all lived happily ever after. And a hearty F you. Goody. How it, do they're Scottish? How do the goose. How does a goose even give a bagpipe sound? I mean, it's not. At least it's not like in Highlander 2 where you can only tell in Scotland because there's constant bagpipe music everywhere. Ugh. Well, at least I can take vouchers that uh, while this shit was going on, I think I managed to find the torrent download for Twisted Pear. Oh, goody. Is that the next Alpha and Omega film? <laughs> no, the, the, the latest Neil Breen movie. Alpha and Omega Twisted Pear, that'd be some film. Oh, fudge you. Could you imagine Neil Breen making an animated film? That'd be hilarious. I mean, I mean, the animation would be extremely incompetent, but... Hey, guys! Animals have confetti! Of course they do, because... Oh, God! No! Do not dance like that! Don't ever do that again! How do you know what social calendars are? You don't know what social media is! You're a fucking reindeer! Uh, oh, they're going through the sea crattling. This... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is how it ends. This is how the Alpha and Omega series ends. This there is how go. it dies. Or maybe there's an well, after credit scene. I, gu I guess they realize, well, if we're going to die, man, as well go full stupid. Is there an extra credit scene, dare I ask? Yeah, go ahead and no. check. Oh my god, no, written by Tom wish... Kane? Tom Kane? Tom... No, no, it's, it's another Tom Kane. I guess. So well, that was it... Tom Kane. No, there's, there's no, there's no after credit. <laughs> Tom Kane. Oh my god, that's right, they have Ben Diskin playing Humphrey. <laughs> Okay, oh, that was okay, never mind. Did... Apparently the one playing Stinky isn't Debbie Derryberry, but Kate Higgins again. Goody. Okay, well, who cares? Anyway, that was Alfred. Oh, by the way, Cindy yeah, Robinson was in this movie, too. Well, she's been in all the other ones. Well, minus the first one. So, yeah, that was Alfred Omega, Journey to Bird Kingdom. This film sucked. It was definitely one of the worst ones in the series, and I'm glad as fuck this series is over, because it was never that good in the first place. No. It had some promise with the first movie, but that promise went out the window as soon as the second movie. Uh, this movie sucks balls. Big. So, uh, I think Bob Show summed it up best at the end of his review. So that was off in Omega 8. It sucked. Are you surprised? <laughs> I mean, this movie doesn't even have any. This movie, whatever little thin member shit of a plot this thing is. Is just ripping off shit for, uh, for, and cliches from the fucking Lion King, and it doesn't even know how to take those cliche scenes and st string a, a coherent narrative out of them. And suddenly we resolve everything by dancing because, of course, why not? It's just because it, it worked. It, it uh, well, it, it worked in the 2004. Well, it didn't, but you know what I mean. Because they did it in the 2014 shitty Pop Off Girls uh, special. So might as well do it here as well, I guess. Because Whatever. that's what everyone wants you to take inspiration from. 
Uh, God. It's... It's garbage. What else can you tell? The voice acting is uh, decent, at least for the kind of writing that these actors have to work with. The music, at the very least, I can t is generic, but at the very least, I can tell that the composer was at the very least trying. Yeah. So, like, I, I guess I'll give him a pat on the back for that, I guess. But outside of that, nobody. So the animation is garbage. The writing is garbage. The the comedy is painful. Literally painful. That. That stupid screaming gag is so nonsensical and annoying that it's just ugh. And what else can I say? Like th this, this looks like something that uh, 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 was written by a five-year-old. It's dead now, so we can all rest easy. And uh, now, now, if only now, let's just hope that Swan Princess Nine is the last one, and Richard Rich can finally take a hint and retire from animation because he sucks at it. Um. Uh, that's it. Jova closes up. Well, folks, this is how it ends. With a dance number. A horribly animated dance number. Well, Jova, at the very least, there's no dinosaurs in here, I guess. Oh. At least it ends as opposed to stops. Well, guys, would that mean that truly they've made the ultimate improvement then? That'll make you love this series? No. no. I didn't think so. Like... Holy cow. Okay, sure, the composer is giving it his all. The voice actors are giving it their all. Fine. The animation, though, is some of the worst. Possibly the worst of the series, to the point where they hey, literally... Hey, what? you four. Yes, exactly as I was about to say. It's to the point where the animation contradicts the writing. Like, who had his... That is... All the animators had to do was read the script... And animate something that represents what's written in the script. This and is not rocket like, science. And the thing is that like they it, don't just do it, it once, they do it no less than two times. It's like, you know, that scene in Battlefield Earth where where one of them is like, the aliens are closing in fast, but they're just walking. Yeah. It, it like, like it, this is not, but in here it's even worse to because you can literally make it look like because you're just reading a script. This is not rocket science animators. Read what's in the script. And animate it just like it's there. This isn't hard. If it says five, just, sorry. If it says four, just put four of them only in there. Don't put five. Like, <sighs> it's just how, did, how, how does that even happen accidentally? Let's think about this for a moment. It says four, so obviously they would go tr uh, uh, again. Assuming that the animators are actually trying to do their job properly, they would animate four ducks. How would that fifth duck suddenly appear out? Accidentally. Not only Someone that, Pedro, actually, let's put this Oh my god, Joe, I just realized it. The same guy who swapped the sky in Alpha and <laughs> Omega was 3. A... It yeah. was the same guy. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, oh, I mean, let's think about it. This is CGI animation, which means you literally, okay, editing with CGI animation is quite different from, say, shooting it in live action or with, you know, 2D animation. Somebody literally had to go in there and edit it so that there were continuously five geese. <laughs> so, you, which means they purposely had to go in there and do it. Which means that, yeah, maybe it's the same guy from Alpha and Omega 3. Because, yeah, I mean, honestly, I have trouble deciding which movie had the worst animation between this or Alpha and Omega 3. And holy cow. Mm, it's just... The story is the worst, because, yeah, okay, for those of you who are fans of the main characters of the series, ah, too bad, now it's about the bears, and your characters that you like, well, they barely show up, and furthermore, they're kind of just side characters. Even the pups are kind of side characters at this point, too. In one of the most forced plots that can ever become, because it's Retcon City, like, oh, all of a sudden there's a bear kingdom here, and apparently the bear kingdom calls the entire shots of the forest, no matter however that comes. But hey, it's okay, because King is finally dead, apparently, along with the other two bears. And the rogues are trapped to forever starve to death. What a happy ending. Look at how happy I am. As Shuri would say, happy, happy, freaking joy, joy. Okay, so... That was Alpha and Omega the Bear Kingdom. What a terrible movie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This this movie kind of hurt a bit. Like, it's one thing to end a series, but to end it on such a I don't care note, 
feels insulting to even the audience who made the series whatever success it was. Yeah. It says something that even the most dire fans hate this movie. And it's the last one, too, so, uh... Wow, so basically, the franchise was killed along with its dignity. That's... Well, whatever <laughs> dignity it had. That's... That's pretty low. Well, you know what they say, on to greener pastures. With this series done, we can now go back to... Oh crap, there's also the Swan Princess movies. And there's also the and Land the... Before Time movies. And there's also the Stupid Good Times movies. And those are the ones that I'm most uh, those are the ones that I'm most looking forward to doing, the Land Before Time sequels, because at the very least those, despite how terrible they are, at the very least they're uh, they, they the animation even when it's bad being bad, it's at the very least more appealing to look at than this shit. Mm -hmm. As for Swan Princess, oh boy. Starting with starting with four the characters to oh, also uh, oh, that is a demon, for the record. I like Voiced Bob by Show Laura Bailey. Basic and Webs, to give you an idea, Swan Princess 3 ends with Odette dying, but then when, but then when Derek burns the, uh, the, the forbidden arts into ashes, suddenly the fire turns into <coughs> Phoenix, and uh, Odette suddenly revives herself for no reason. And as Bob put it very well, so basically Odette comes back as a fire demon, I guess. Oh yeah, it shows yeah. in the animation. Whatever, we're dragging this out. See ya, everybody. See ya. Ciao. Wow, it's finally dead.